Hello boys and girls and welcome to Dino Tales. In case you haven't met me before, my name is Dino Girl. I work for the Travelling Natural History Museum where we thought you might enjoy for us to read you some stories. And so, with the wonderful permission of Miles Kelly Publishers, I have been allowed to read you this Dino Tale. This is going to be the first dino tale and it's called Allosaurus and the Troublesome Tooth. Now, boys and girls, why don't you make sure that you're in a nice comfy seat, feeling warm and snuggly. In fact, I'm going to look in my blankie bag and see if I can find something snuggly to help make me feel extra comfy. <gasps> oh, Lovely, a furry softy pofty top. Just perfect for dino tails. I'm gonna pop that on. Oh, lovely. And yes, it's time for dino tails. My dinosaur watch has told me. So I think I'm going to introduce you to one of my friends who's actually an Allosaurus. She's going to join us for today's story. Come on. Oh, that's it. Well done, Ava. There we go. Now, Ava, say hello to the boys and girls. Hello. <laughs> that's good. Well done. Are you looking forward to me telling your story to the boys and girls? Oh, yes. Good. Well, in that case, let's get started. Boys and girls, join Ava the Allosaurus and Dino Girl for our first ever Dino Tales. Come on, come closer. Allosaurus and the Troublesome Tooth. Now, you're going to meet a few dinosaurs in this book, so we're going to just introduce them and how you say their names. So say hello to Ava the Allosaurus and Nina the Nigersaurus. We're also going to meet Shay the Suchomimus and finally Cody the Cordiptrix. Let's begin. Once there was a young Allosaurus called Ava who had a huge mouth full of big pointy teeth. Ava was very proud of her teeth. She was always opening her mouth wide to show them off to her friends. But one day, Ava wasn't feeling very well and didn't flash her toothy smile at anyone. What's wrong? asked her mum. <laughs> I've got oofache, mumbled Ava. Poor Ava had toothache and didn't feel like playing with her friends. Oh, I think I'll sit down under this bush, said Ava. Not long after, Ava's friend Nina, the Nigesaurus, dropped by. Ava, where are you? cried Nina. Oh, shuddered the bush. Nina wondered if her tummy was rumbling. Oh, the noise went again, but louder this time. Ah, screamed Nina. That bush is alive. And she trotted off as fast as she could. Next, Ava's friend Cody, the Cordoptrix, came looking for her. 
Ava, cried Cody. Can you come out to play? <coughs> Shook the bush. Cody thought the noise must be the wind blowing through the bushes. <coughs> it went again, but much louder this time. Yikes, screamed Cody. That bush is alive. And he ran away as fast as he could. A bit later, Shay, the Sukomimus, walked past the bush looking for Ava. <coughs> the bush rattled. Shay thought the noise might be a monster. <coughs> Came the noise again and the bush started to move. Help! screamed Shay. The bush monster shuddered and shook as it ran after Shay. Then, as flowers and leaves fell off, Ava appeared. Ich me! Ava spluttered. I'm not a monster! Nina and Corey rushed to where all the noise was coming from. Ava told her friends that she had crawled underneath the bush because of her toothache. Hmm, try chewing on a ginkgo leaf, said Nina. That helps me. Ava didn't really like to eat leaves, but she chewed and chomped on the bitter leaf. Every time she chewed with her bad tooth, it still hurt. Hmm, try gargling with water, said Cody. And he dipped an empty shell in a puddle and filled it with the cool water. Ava gargled and swished. <coughs> the water round her mouth. <coughs> oh, it's still not working, sighed Ava. Shay was hunting for something on the leafy ground. Ah, found one, he said, and he held up a big bone. Try crunching on that. Ava crunched and crushed the bone into pieces in her mouth. Crunch, crack. But every time she bit on the side of her poorly tooth, it Hurt! Ava went home. Nothing had stopped her toothache. She was sad. Maybe Grandpa can help, said her mummy. So Ava went to see her Grandpa. Ava told Grandpa everything she had tried to cure her toothache. She had chewed a ginkgo leaf, gargled with cold water, and even crunched on a bone. Open wide, said Grandpa. Grandpa almost put his whole nose into Ava's mouth to get a good look at her bad tooth. Go home and try to sleep, said Grandpa. I think that tooth may fix itself very soon, he said. The next morning, as Ava opened her mouth wide to check her bad tooth, out it popped. <gasps> My toothache has gone! beamed Ava, and soon I will have a new shiny tooth. The end. Well now, boys.
boys and girls. Let's have a look at these pictures again. I wonder, have you spotted the one creature in this picture who isn't a dinosaur? Look at that, it's a bird. Hmm, I wonder what else we can see. I wonder, do you think Ava's mummy would have really been bright pink? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. And here is Nina. Can you remember what dinosaur she was? That's right, a Nigerosaurus. And here we have Cody, the Cordopteryx, and she, or he, has feathers. Quite a few dinosaurs had feathers on their bodies. And here we have Shay, the very scared Suchomimus. I wonder, would Shay have actually been blue? I think Shay liked eating fish because she has a very long nose, a bit like a crocodile. So maybe she was a fish eating dinosaur. And here they all are. And Ava emerging from her flowery bush. I don't think Ava would have enjoyed eating ginkgo leaves, but some of the dinosaurs, the herbivores, would have enjoyed eating them. I wonder which of these dinosaurs would have enjoyed eating ginkgo leaves. I think Nina the Nigerosaurus possibly ate quite a few. And now Cody finds an empty shell, but I wonder, is this the shell from an ammonite? It certainly looks like it. And a big crunchy bone. Well, Ava could have enjoyed eating that if her tooth wasn't hurting her so much because Allosauruses were meat-eating dinosaurs. They were carnivorous, so they ate meat. And here we have the funny coloured mummy dinosaur, the ginkgo leaf, maybe an ammonite shell and the crunchy bone. But none of it worked for Ava, did it? But Grandpa knew what to do. Actually, Allosaurus's lost their teeth around about every three months. It was quite a normal occurrence and they grew fresh new teeth straight away. And actually, as their teeth grew, they pointed backwards in their mouth. Okay, so that's one way of telling when it's an Allosaurus, when their teeth point backwards. Well, I hope you enjoyed that dino tale, boys and girls. I can't wait to read you the next one. 